it's tough at this time for a startup company to get more than twenty-five to thirty-five thousand dollars a year. But according to the Ewing Marion Kaufman Foundation, entrepreneurs aren't being discouraged by tough economic times, possible tax hikes, and even little capital. Instead, they're forging forward and weathering the financial storm. The study found that the number of U.S. business startups in good and bad times is relatively stable. What we've got happening today with the economy so down and most people being laid off from work is that many people that are laid off from work are looking for a new job. And so finding a new job is very, very difficult. So what they're doing is they're starting to go into business for themselves. Jack Philbin is a business counselor with SCORE, an organization that helps entrepreneurs succeed. He says the key element is a solid business plan. Dino Flacco, owner of Oat Yoga, completely agrees. He is a success story. He found creative funding and launched this yoga studio a year ago in the midst of economic troubles. We signed a lease in July of 2008, uh, started the demo, thought we had financing lined up. Uh, the, uh, everything hit the fan shortly thereafter and uh, financing sort of dried up on us. We still felt that the concept was strong enough to survive even in a, uh, a down economy. So uh, we forged ahead, finally uh, found financing through a uh, little bank in Kansas, the Bank of Tightwad. That funding, coupled with the use of a unique retirement tool for the self-employed called the Solo 401k, carried Flacco through the difficult times. He took a loan from his retirement account. I, I couldn't have gotten through this year. I would have had to, to go deeper into debt uh, other ways. This, well, this way I'm borrowing against myself, so I didn't feel too bad about going into debt against myself. I'm paying myself back, essentially, with the loan payments. Today, the studio is thriving. 2009 was a strong year for his business. His advice to others? Location was key, um, a lot of intention, a lot of homework, a very intense business plan, uh, uh, about a 50-page business plan, a couple years of research, um, uh, just boiled down the numbers, uh, used very, very conservative projections, took all of our costs and uh, added about 25% to what we figured would be worst-case scenario. Solid research, the use of a solo 401k, mentors, and a successful business plan help this yoga studio stretch to new financial heights. I'm Phoebe Chong Chua with your financial news for Neighbors Group.